Welcome back. It's a cruel joke on the Aam Admi. Amitabh Gupta, who gave travel permits to the Vadhavan family during lockdown, gets appointed as the Pune Police Commissioner. Aghari Sarkar has not only given a clean chit to Amitabh Gupta and reinstated him, but also have uh, now given him a significant posting. So while on one hand the office uh, or the officer who lets Vadhavan's pass becomes Pune Police Chief. On the other hand, those who voice dissent are targeted. Those are three visuals in front of you, three incidences that uh, suggests how the Agadi government has been extremely partial in their conduct. Kangana's office was demolished because she was questioning uh, the administration of the maximum city. A Navy veteran was attacked by the Shiv Sena goons for uh, forwarding a cartoon. And Mr. Amitabh Gupta has been rewarded with a plum post because he gave a permit, a travel permit to the Badhavans. That's the allegation. Let's go across to Kajal, our Mumbai bureau chief, joining us uh, with more details on the broadcast. And we're playing out those three visuals, uh, uh, Kajal. And, uh, you know, each visual represents the kind of treatment that was meted out to individuals who stood against the government in Maharashtra and how one individual was rewarded, maybe because he was following instructions that came right from the top. It does seem that there were instructions from the top because uh, nothing else explains the fact that not just uh, there was a quick clean sheet and reinstatement as Principal Secretary home for Amitabh Gupta, but within four months he has actually been given a plum posting as the Commissioner of, uh, uh, the, uh, of the city of Pune. And um, this is no mean feat. Uh, the Commissionerate of Pune is the la one of the largest after Mumbai and Nagpur and uh, holds a significant position in the IPS hierarchy in the state. And that is why uh, uh, it begs the question as to what exactly uh, uh, did Amitabh Gupta do to deserve this soon after his posting as the Principal Secretary home. Absolutely. And in fact, it was this very government that sent him on a compulsory leave and then he immediately got a clean chit. Mr. Gupta himself said that, uh, you know, it was purely on uh, good faith and the fact that uh, he knew the Vadhavans, maybe he is a family friend or he knew them through someone that he gave them the travel permit. Yes, in that uh, explanation that he had given uh, during the inquiry, a uh, one-man inquiry that was set up, he actually said uh, that uh, he had, uh, he used to receive a lot of uh, uh, such uh, applications, and in uh, good faith he had passed his application. But remember that the Vadhavans were still wanted at that point of time. The agencies had said that they could not trace them, and uh, it is uh, curious as to how an IPS official did not realize that these are the same Vadhavans that the central agencies were looking for and um, when he says good faith uh, how could he not have uh, investigated the antecedents the clean sheet uh, after uh, the report that gave him a clean sheet also does not mention these things and actually takes the, it on face value that right. he must good have done this in good faith for the accused good faith who the central agencies were looking for but what about his duty uh, stay on with us uh, Kajal we have a breaking input coming in at this point in time a reaction in fact from the BJP which has hit back hit back uh, at the Aghadi Sarkar. The BJP, in fact, is going to lodge a complaint with the CVC against Amitabh Gupta. We have a reaction coming in from Atul Bhatkalkar of the BJP. Now it is crystal clear that this is nothing but because of his political master's behest, he has issued this order. This is quid pro quo. So, I am going to launch complaint of not only Amitabh Gupta, but his political bosses with Chief Vigilance Commissioner today only. All right, let's go back to Kajal now. We were just playing out that reaction coming in from Mr. Bhatkalkar of the BJP. The BJP is, has upped the ante and Mr. Bhatkalkar says that he would be filing a complaint with the CVC. Yes, uh, considering that he's an IPS officer and uh, uh, any uh, uh, complaints against them need to be filed to the Central Vil uh, Vigilance uh, Commission. So th uh, that is why Atul Bhattalka are now saying that the, he will be approaching the CVC uh, regarding this and he will uh, not just be lodging a complaint against Amitabh Gupta but also anyone who may have made that decision to uh, not just give him a clean sheet but also such a significant posting.
Well, yes, absolutely. Absolutely, Kajal. In fact, uh, you know, when uh, Mr. Amitabh Gupta as the principal secretary uh, gave those travel permits, like you highlighted, the Vadavans were uh, still wanted, the central agencies were looking all over for them, but Mr. Uh, Gupta clearly had no clue or maybe he was asked to ignore that point. And when the entire uh, nation, people in Maharashtra also were forced to stay indoors, the Vadavans clearly were enjoying the influential connection that they had. Uh, yes, in fact, uh, uh, you know, uh, the uh, uh, the basis on which he had given that particular permission, he says, was that there was some sort of a family emergency. Now, a uh, family emergency, and it was uh, considered to be a health emergency. They were going from uh, Khandala, Lonavla, towards Mahabaleshwar. Now, Mahabaleshwar is a hill station, and it does not have any sort of uh, hospital facilities that are good enough. If you need to go to a hospital, you have to come all the way to Satara. Uh, fr uh, from Mahabaleshwar if you if you have a uh, very major family emergency. So one doesn't understand what exactly were the Vadhavans going to Mahabaleshwar for uh, when it's a health emergency. Uh, they had at that time said that there was someone, uh, some senior citizen in the family who needed to be taken to a better climb and uh, to better doctors. But that cannot be availed of in some place like Mahabaleshwar which doesn't have the health facilities uh, that uh, would be required for such uh, such kind of an emergency. So on what basis this permission was granted is still a large question and no one has so far explained that. Right, so reward for towing the line and punishment for those who voice their dissent against the government. That's exactly what these three visuals on the screen at this point in time highlight. Kajal, stay on with us. On one hand, uh, Kangna Ranaut questioned the administration of Mumbai. She said, I wasn't questioning the Mumbai police. I was questioning the Prashasan, the administration of the Agadi Sarkar and her house was demolished. She says that was political vendetta. Then you add the incident, uh, Kajal, of the Navy veteran who had forwarded a cartoon and he was attacked because uh, uh, the Shiv Sena goons felt that he was insulting the chief minister of Maharashtra and not just that and now the third visual here highlights uh, the, the partial the partial attitude of the government of rewarding those who in fact are towing the line which in this case is Mr. Amitabh Gupta. Uh, yes, uh, this seems to be uh, something that uh, the government is trying to do right now to keep uh, their people on their side. And we have seen time and again that uh, uh, officials who are towing the line, officials who are not really uh, raising a voice or doing whatever is asked of them are being rewarded. Uh, and they are uh, not being questioned on any uh, uh, gaffes that they make. So uh, this is a really uh, concerning situation that uh, uh, the, uh, the administration seems to be favouring those who are yes men. Right. Kajal, stay on with us. I believe we also have Arunil on the broadcast and uh, we have also opened the phone lines. Uh, let's also take some callers on the broadcast. SK Banit is joining us from Vaisa. Good morning. Okay, I believe we've lost that line with Mr. Banit. And uh, let's meanwhile go across to Arunil. And our viewers can continue to call us and express their views on this uh, particular story. Arunil, what we are being told at this point in time is that Mr. Amitabh Gupta has been given a plum post. He has been made the police commissioner of Pune. Now, many, in fact, are questioning the action that was taken against him uh, when he was the principal secretary of sending him on compulsory leave and the fact that immediately he was given a clean chit and reinsta uh, reinstated. And many say that, in fact, uh, the action was just an eye wash. Well, clearly this is an extremely appalling step, uh, Swati. It looks like whether Amitabh Gupta, a senior IPS officer, who basically ensured that one of the prime accused, the Vadavans, in uh, the Yes Bank case, they were allowed to maneuver freely in the middle of a lockdown from Khandala to Mahableshwar, giving them special passes. Uh, he, was, he wasn't even reprimanded uh, and uh, basically inquiry was initiated against uh, Amitabh Gupta. He was given a clean chit and now he is, it seems that he has been rewarded uh, for his actions. A plum portfolio being uh, given to him. A Pune commissioner it has been considered to be uh, the second largest in fact after uh, the city of Mumbai. Yes, uh, Nagpur is also there. Uh, but uh, I mean this basically raises, uh, this basically raises some uh, serious questions that just because Amitabh Gupta shouldn't take any further names of his political masters, was he acting on behalf of his political masters in the Maharashtra government? And because he, should, he didn't take any names at that time, and sh he shouldn't take any names in the future as well, he has been rewarded by a plump post by okay. the Maharashtra government. Arun